Hey everybody, this is Brian from PMB Homesteading. Want to do the walk up in the upper yard up here. We got a few minutes before the sprinklers start turning on again. So we're gonna run up there real quick and show you around. These strawberries in this patch here look like they're doing really well since I put that new watering system in along the back here. The overhead watering. It's really starting to expand out nice. As well as that hostas doing really well now that it's got an own watering system on this side of the house. You can see the goji berries are starting to form even more. Oh, this is going to be a big year. A lot of flowers. Bees have been all over this tree or bush yesterday. You can see the mints come back. You can see a little bit of the wild flowers are starting to pop back up through. This has got that nice minty smell over here now. Sunflowers are getting really big. Can't wait until the heads start opening up on these guys. You can see the, uh, the variegated wagala is doing really well down in there. You can see our strawberries are spreading all throughout the back here along the trails. Well, this place is going to be a nice little oasis of food in the next few years. Now the tree's doing well. Been shedding a few more apples off the top there, which is normal for a tree. You can see the peach trees are doing pretty well. I think I've beat back most of that fungus that we had. Let's see, we'll go this way first. See, the marigolds are starting to bloom. Tomatoes are hanging over been picking those off. You can see there's quite a few ripe ones I still haven't got yet. Back in there. I didn't know how well the tomatoes would do here in this spot. That seems to be a pretty good area. You approve? You approve, little guy? You want to say hi to everybody, Edgar? <laughs> Maybe he's a little camera shy, like Paula. <laughs> Let's see, I, you can see the blueberries. They're ready to be picked. Um, that's, that's one of the things I'm gonna be doing today before the heat gets too hot out here for the 100 degree day. I'm gonna pick off a bunch of the blueberries because I know this heat's really gonna sap their, uh, their sugars. Tomatoes are doing well. I've been coming up here and picking at least one or two Day. I don't know if we have any more that are ready yet. There's one down there that's turning. There's another one there. We picked the big squash that was up here. There's another one over there that needs to be picked. God, look at that zucchini back there. That thing's a monster. The sunflowers are really tall. So they're going up, and you can see the head forming on that one there. This is that transplant kale that used to be on our deck. I was eating some of this when I was working in the yard yesterday. All these tomatoes are just going crazy over here. No ripe ones yet. Lots in there though. They're going to be beautiful when they start to turn. You see all the beans are growing up over these hutches that we created. The tomatoes are doing really well in there. They're all blooming those scarlet runner beans. We got another little friend following today. He thinks it's veggie picking time. Let's go up here. I didn't take you guys up here last time. Go through the bamboo. There's our lemon balm. We're letting it grow wild. You just rub your hands in there. It's got a nice lemony smell to it. You can take that stuff and you can rub it on you to keep mosquitoes away. So we encourage that to grow wild here. There's some more blueberries. These are transplant bushes from last year so they may not have too much fruit set this year. These are more of a high bush. So I'm expecting them to get to be probably about that tall. You know. 
You can see there are a lot of berries on the uh, elderberry this year. Look at that. This will be our first year to get those. Quite a few heads on there that's going to have some stuff to pick off if we get it before the birds. More of a lemon balm. Pawpaw here. This one's doing really well. That one there's even doing pretty good, you know, compared to when we started filming this summer. It seems to be growing quite a bit. I think next year we'll be able to start to see some expressive growth on that one because they said usually it's like, you know, three or four years after you put a pawpaw in. If they make it past the three foot, is it three foot or four foot, something like that, height, that they're, they're developed enough root mass underneath that they're going to be able to sustain themselves. So that'll be nice. Got all the dogs up here today. Even the old guy. What are you doing, Gus? Gus, what are you doing? What are you doing, bud? Huh? You gonna get that nice lemony smell on you? you smell like a bottle of pledge. Of these yesterday. These were really good. Yeah, there's some down there. Had to put some sluggo in there. The slugs decided they wanted to come in and uh, try to take out my beans. We got a few of them down here. What else we got to show? The apple tree. Productive around here, getting productive. Should be glad when this one here starts producing. This is one of our uh, plum trees. A lot of new growth this year. I think next year we should get some fruit set on that guy. Plum. Boy, these have really gotten big this year. Since I put that new watering system in, everything seems to be really taken off. Current bushes, I forgot to show you those. They're doing well. Another one over there. Mint is starting to flower. The bees love that. I'll let that go. Got the little current bush back here hiding behind the comp tree, which is kind of a good thing because uh, oh, there's one of our there's one of our little friends, little slug. If we see them, you know what that means? It's slug murder time. Because they like to wreck things. There you go, buddy. There's a warning to your buddies. Oh, just in time. Looks like we avoided the water system. All right. Well, this is Brian from PMB Homesteading. Talk to you guys again. Bye.